Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another vlog. So this is my first out and about vlog of 2022. We are currently in Ikea. I actually have my manager. <laughs> you didn't know that was going to go on to you then, did you? <laughs> I have her with me. Um, so yeah, I filmed a couple bits this morning, just like me getting up, getting ready. I did a workout uh, on the Peloton, which was really good and had some brekkie and stuff, got ready. And now we are here. Basically, I've come to Ikea because I really want to get a chest of drawers for my like dressing room office. I'm just running out of storage for my clothes, which probably is a sign that I need to do a clear out. But I have actually done quite a few clear outs and I just don't want to get rid of anything else. So I want to get some chest of drawers to like pop um, some clothes and bits in, but also to like dress quite nicely. And then I thought it could be a nice filming background as well for like reels and stuff. Um, so yeah, that is the main aim of being here. But we're also here to look for some... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can just see you out of the corner of my eye. You're just drinking it, like trying to be as quiet as possible. <laughs> <All right. laughs> to make sure I'm not slurping. Um, we're also here to look for some like wedding slash Hindu related bits. So um, yeah, I mean, you probably have gathered that I'm actually quite involved in my Hindu, probably more so than like the normal bride, but I'm a massive control freak and I think my bridesmaids have accepted that like I need to be involved somewhat um so yeah for one of the ideas for the hen do we want to do like some like champagne flutes like maybe personalize them and stuff so we just thought we'd have a little look in Ikea basically um so yeah I thought I would bring you guys with me show you around see what's new and also show you what we get if we get anything so this is my outfit for Ikea I've got my North Face puffer on um this Adenola tracksuit I'll show you it properly in the mirror and then we both got our Uggs on Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you need to watch TikTok to understand that. Um, but yeah, I'll show you it in the mirror once we get an Ikea, but I live in these Adenola tracksuits. They're so good. But yeah, let's go. just found a little lime basil and mandarin this is like joe malone white company is it nice it's a bit of a small hole to smell hmm. it does smell quite nice though wait yeah, it's it got does. holes in it so you can just smell no you smell through that though maybe it's not very strong it actually does smell really nice hmm. eight pounds bargain let's go Okay, so I'm trying to decide between this unit, which is the Hemleys one. Um, it's 250. Drawers are like super duper spacious. My mum has this. 
So that's that one, or this one here, which is called Copang. And it's actually a lot cheaper, but it's not got as many drawers. It's 135, but I don't know if it like looks a lot cheaper as well. What do you think? That's that one. Like that one's taller. Obviously it's hard to tell because it's like on the stand, but it is taller. That one's a little bit longer, I think. But I quite like the small drawers on it. Oh, do you? Yeah, why were you saying you're going to say you gonna didn't? Say long ones because they're um, deeper. What, you think that you'd actually well, get more storage in here? Okay, or we've just seen this one, which is Idanas. So basically the Copang that I was just looking at is actually out of stock. So that one's ruled out now, which is kind of helpful, I guess. Um, this one's a little bit more expensive, but I do like it. I think it looks more expensive. Um, it's got soft close drawers. I don't know, the other one might have that. Um, and I'm gonna change the knobs on it to match my Pax wardrobes. Are they soft close? Oh God, no, they're not soft close, are they? <laughs> Pay more for the soft close vibes. They don't feel as nice to um, pull out either. Like, Shall I get this one then? Yeah, I think this one. What's the, nice. hang on, I need to check the measurements of it. Where are the measurements on that? Yeah. This is literally Rafi's idea of heaven all of these cuddly toys and i'm gonna pick him up a new dog because he loves this dog so much we've gone through a couple now but he honestly like loves it he takes it to bed with him he cuddles it all the time so yeah and pop that in there this is what we're thinking about getting for the hendu these little like champagne i think they call them coupes yeah. coupe not sure I'm just gonna see if they stack because we thought it'd be fun to do like a little Oh yeah, they stack. Yeah, they stack. We can't personalise these ones though. No, but that's fine. Decoration. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be good for cocktails too. Yeah, that's true. Should we get them then? Yeah. Our basket is currently full of like 20 champagne glasses and a fluffy dog yeah. and that's it. <laughs> Just come across these champagne coupes. Not sure. <laughs> um, these are the ones we have at the minute, but I feel like these look so much nicer, but they're out of stock and they're out of stock online as well, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, that's the name of them and then I really like this bus this like bowl to put with it but also out of stock which is so annoying so yeah not much luck there thought I would just show you my outfit really quick so yeah this is the Adenola jogger set my Uggs and then my jacket pretty boring outfit but yeah We could do, oh, <laughs> just like no care for personal space. <laughs> right, so I thought we could do a little Ikea haul whilst I'm here and have everything. Please ignore the Christmas presents behind me still. Um, we're still waiting to see people to give them to them, even though we're like into mid-January now, which is crazy. Um, right, so, only thing I would say about Ikea is I feel like there's just no stock of stuff at the minute. Like, I think I said about it earlier, but there's loads of bits that we wanted that they just didn't have stock of, and it was sold out online as well, so that was a bit annoying. Um, also, how weird is this new Ikea bag? It's like a little holder. I feel like someone could just put like off-white on that and it'd sell for like thousands of pounds. Um, anyway, so first up, we bought some of these champagne flutes. <clears throat> so these are them. Um, I think they, these were like, were they like two pounds? How much were these champagne flutes, Mad? Mm, she's not there. Um, yeah, I think these were like one or two pounds, but they're literally just a champagne flute. And the reason we've got these is we are going to um, get some like sticker decals off Etsy and pop people's names on them for the Hendu. I feel like I'm going to ruin stuff by saying this. Hopefully not that many people are watching, but yeah, we're going to do that, I think. Um, just because it's quite a nice, nice little personal touch. And then we also got a big box of these champagne coupes. Um... Is it coupe or coupe? Coupe. It's coupe. Pretty sure. You sound quite confident. Well, that's not happening. Right, Yeah, so then we got a load of these coupes, champagne coupes. Not sure how, if that's how you said it, but we basically want to do like a little champagne tower at the Hendu, um, just because I feel like it's just a bit of fun, something I've always wanted to do. It looks really cool in pictures and stuff. So yeah, we're going to stack them up. Um, and they were really cheap. They were literally like £1.20, I think, per 
glass so it's not the end of the world if like a couple smash in the process hopefully they don't but yeah so we got them and next up i bought a couple of these bags because these are just the best for storing clothing in or just storing anything in really they're like three pounds i think and they're clear so you can see what's in them which is great and yeah i just use them for storage all the time so i got two of them got some sandwich bags because you know these are just an essential for me up uh, wrap it away from the champagne glasses um got some of these these are like some drawer divider things have you popped them upstairs thank you yeah do you mind on your own Man. yeah got these because these are like some drawer dividers to pop in my new drawers which i got um sam was just very kindly taking them upstairs for me and i actually have got a guy coming around to build them tomorrow from task rabbit i was going to do it myself but i just thought do you know what i'm going to save myself the stress the argument it'll probably take me about six hours um and yeah i'm just going to get a guy to come around tomorrow and build it i just booked it on task rabbit it's really easy but yeah i've got two of them and then i got this as well so this is basically like a selfie kind of light and holder thing um it's really cool you can pop your phone in it and then it's also like a ring light as well that you plug in so yeah i thought that was really good and you can adjust the setting on the ring light too so yeah got that and then i got something that raffi might like yeah you oh. stay ah, stay stay Okay, I got you a new doggy! Yeah! A new one! Oh, lucky Aww. boy! What do you think, Raph? This is his old one and this is all of the fluff from his old one. <gasps> what do you think? Literally, it's <laughs> Oh, he loves him. He's a new one! Oh, big cuddles! <laughs> big cuddles! Oh, I actually can't cope. Look at him. Is this your best pal? Is he your best pal? Oh, look at his paw on his bum. <laughs> Is it your bestest pal? Just the cutest. So I also thought whilst I'm here, I could show you, um, I got a H&M order through. So I thought I would show you. I haven't actually ordered clothes in ages, just like where it's been Christmas and I was obviously buying presents and stuff. Uh, no, it's not yours. So first up, it's coming two parcels. But this, I think, is the main thing. Right, so ever since Christmas, Raffi thinks everything in like paper is for him. Look at him. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, so this was the main reason that I did the order. And I ordered two sizes because I wasn't sure which size to go for. Basically, you might have seen it online, but they are, I had notifications on for this and like been waiting for so long for this to come in. I'm excited. Wow. Oh my. What do we oh, think? That looks nice <laughs> What do you think, Raph? Oh my goodness. So it's like a bejeweled um, bralette, but do you know what? On its own, I think it looks a little bit weird, but I think if you wore it with, like, underneath... My plan is to wear it, like, underneath, like, a satin shirt. I think it would look really cool, but I'm actually wondering if I should have got the extra small. So that's a medium, and I my boobs are just not... I just don't really have any boobs. Yeah, so I don't know if I said, but for the hen, we're doing, like, a disco theme for one of the nights. So I thought this would look really cool like underneath like a white shirt or dress or something so that was the reason that i did the order it just is so cool and i thought it would look so so nice underneath like a white blouse and i also thought i'd wear it other times like i feel like a new year's eve or something like when you want something a little bit special i just thought that would be really cool and it was like really reasonable i think for the amount of like beads and stuff on there so and then i just picked up a couple other bits that caught my eye i haven't ordered from h&m in a really long time so let's have a look. Oh yeah, I forgot I got these. Um, so I got some pyjamas. I actually brought me and my mum matching. How cute. Look. Oh, she's gonna love them. Isn't she? So yeah, I brought me and my mum some matching PJs. And the reviews just said like they were really, really soft and they were really reasonable. And I just thought they were like a nice pattern. So they're like this like gray leopard print. Uh, it is 100% lever eco viscose. But yeah, I thought it was really cute and it comes with matching 
bottoms as well are these the bottoms yeah my mum's actually coming up to see me this weekend so i'll pop these on her bed for her ready so yeah these are the bottoms yeah i just thought they were cute not that i need any more pajamas whatsoever but you know um and then next up i bought this top i feel like h&m have released all this stuff at the wrong time because they would be perfect like new year's eve pieces but i definitely thought i could wear this like out for dinner with like a blazer over it or some jeans or something are you interested in this have you seen this on the website I don't think so. well it's heavy Oh, I have actually. So cool, isn't it? Wow. Ooh. So imagine it with like a black blazer done up, just with like this okay. little bit poking out the top. I even think like for Christmas and New Year's, like just that and some jeans. Like obviously you'd have to wear a little black bralette underneath. I just but thought it was a bit different. Pretty classic as well, like you can't really. Yeah, I just thought it was quite cool. I mean, I don't know how the hell you'd wash that. I feel like you can't really wash that, can you? I don't know obviously i'll have to try it so next up i ordered this and this is actually i got for like holiday sam said he didn't like it sam said it looked like pajamas but it's like a pink belted shirt and it's a really nice fabric with this little like shiny kind of print running through it i think it was from their like uh, collection they did it says innovation circular design story um and i think it's all very like sustainable. So that's the top, and then I've got the matching trousers. What do you think? I like this on holiday. <clears throat> yeah, can you imagine a holiday with some yeah. heels and like gold jewelry? I bet the trousers are nice, but, the but Sam said they look like pajamas. They do kind of look like pajamas, but I quite like that look. Yeah, they've just got full face and like hair making yeah. heels. And then that is the top. Um, not the top, the trousers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're like a wide leg trouser. Yeah. I feel like this is the kind of look that yeah, you need to be like dressed up. Tanned, yeah, heels, like makeup, holiday, yeah. Sun. And then I got this white shirt because I really liked the pocket detail on it. So this is the shirt, and it just has these like two big pockets, which I thought were like quite like utility vibes. And I thought as we go into spring, <gasps> already talking about spring, but yeah, as we go into spring, I thought these would be really nice with some blue jeans. So yeah, do you like the shirt? Yes, I like that. Actually. Yeah? Something different as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, that is my H&M order. A little bit different, like quite different actually. Some different stuff, but yeah. What do you think? Do you like? Or not? Top's throwing me. Why? I can't really see what it looks like. Maybe it is a bit... There's quite a lot going on. Like you've got the yeah, I almost feel like the pockets don't need to be there. No, no. And the butter, like it's quite a lot. Okay, so these are the pyjamas. I decide I'm going to send the pink set back because I just don't think it's very me. I don't know, I think there was a bit too much going on, but these are the leopard print pajamas. I'm wearing a size small on the top and then a medium on the bottom. I probably could have got away with a medium, a small on the bottom. Maybe I might order that instead. But then if I use these to pull them in, actually, yeah, and I don't really like pajamas being tight, so. Yeah, I just think they're really cute. They're so soft as well. Eyes are closed. Okay, what do we think? Do you like? Yeah, I do actually. I think with heels on as well. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like the little, like, if I pull the blazer seat. Yeah, like. how you can see it. Do you think that looks nice? Yeah, I like that. So this is the top. Yeah, I keep... I just popped a black bra on, but I'd actually probably wear more like a bralette, but I just couldn't find one. And then I just popped it on with a blazer and some leather trousers. And I quite like how this kind of pokes out from the blazer. I don't know. What do we think, guys? Obviously, it's a little bit different, but... I feel like for like a nice night out, even, I don't know, even, yeah, just so like you, blazer's covering most of it. I don't know, what do we think? I do feel like it's a bit much with the bra out, so I do think you definitely have to wear it with like something underneath. Look at Raph lying on my clothes. He's lying not on the H&M stuff, by the way, he's lying on my tracksuit. <laughs> okay, so we have had a bit of a late night decision. It's like 20 to 10 to sort out the pantry section of my kitchen because all this stuff was just like, I was like ramming it in. I couldn't get anything in. So we just thought, we're just gonna sort it out basically. So this is what we're doing at the minute. <laughs> um, obviously I've got like quite a few bits that are out of date and stuff and I'm just like sorting things into 
containers. Um, but yeah, I thought you guys might like to see the organisation. It might give you some motivation to do a little organise as well. now i'm sorry that i didn't finish the vlog off yesterday but we got really into we got really into sorting out the hang on two seconds <laughs> we got really into sorting out the pantry and i'll show you the finished product in a minute um but i'm just making some lunch i'm just going to do a thai green curry because when i was sorting out the pantry i realized that i had some thai green curry paste that was going to go off so i thought we could do it for lunch today so i'm just cutting Sorry, you can't even see me. I'm just cutting up some baby corn. Let me put you over here. Just cutting up some baby corn now. I've got the onions going in there. Uh, and I've got sweet potato in the air fryer. I am loving the air fryer so, so much. It's just so quick and easy. I love it. So wish I had one sooner. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely like changed the way I like make food and it's just made it exciting. And yeah, I really like it. So yeah i'm just gonna make this curry up now i have a guy coming around today from task rabbit uh which is basically like an app where you can get like handymen um handymen that sounds weird but like handyman whatever or women to come around and do like uh those kind of jobs for you so putting together ikea furniture um or putting up pictures on the wall or mirrors or you know all those kind of jobs like mounting tvs and stuff it's such a good app especially if like you don't live near like say your family, because like for example, my mum would do this for me, but or help me with it. But obviously, I don't live near her, so it's actually really great to uh, have that app as like an option. Let me just move these onions. Um, so yeah, so that guy is coming round in about an hour to do that. I think it's going to take him like less than an hour, and he charges about thirty pounds. So I just thought it will take me probably about six hours to do it. I'll probably have like multiple injuries from it it just was just a better idea i think to just get him to do it uh so once he's built that i will show you uh what we went for and i will obviously show you me like filling it up and stuff i've just ordered some handles from john lewis i'll show you them actually but these are these are the ones that i have on my packs system so i thought if i got these at least it would match i don't know what i'm choosing now to show you this but yeah they're just these handles here and they're like gold i'll show you them properly later but i got them for him to pop on as well so anyway i'm going to finish doing this curry now and um i'll show you when i'm finished and then i will show you the organization we did yesterday so here is my curry i mean i feel like it's just a bit of a mishmash of everything oh <laughs> that's my calendar falling down uh we had some sweet potato left so i just thought i'd chuck that in and then yeah i just chucked some prawns in as well could have done with like some one or two or something but we didn't have any so i'm gonna chuck some spinach in and yeah that's pretty much it good to go and here is the finished curry i literally love this pan so much it's the our place always pan i did work with them over on instagram a while back but i honestly love it so much so the curry was delicious oh i feel like i'm zoomed in i am there we go um yeah the curry was delicious so i thought i would just show you what we did yesterday so this is the finished uh raffi out of there please what are you doing uh this is the finished organized cupboard we've just stored these in here for now but they don't normally go in there but i just had so many boxes that were like half empty or really empty obviously had a few out of date things as well so got rid of them um but like i decanted like all i had so many just like random pastas and stuff so i just decanted it all into like these bits and stuff 
popped all the rice in there. Did like a whole little separate organization here. Like this is all vinegars and stuff and this is like oils. Um, and then like all of my like herbs and spices. I'm not as like organized and bougie to have, you know when people have like the clear containers and then they write them on like in nice white pen. I'm not that organized and I probably never will be, but for me, this is good. And I feel like this is a job that I've been meaning to do for so, so long, ticked off my list. So very happy about that. Um, I'm very happy that Maddie was here to help me, little legend. So the guy has just come from Task Rabbit to build my chest of drawers. So he's just upstairs doing that now. So I will show you that as soon as that's done as well. These are the handles that I've gone for. I think they were five pounds on John Lewis. I just think they make like an I Ikea piece look a little bit more expensive. So here is the new uh, unit. I think I might move, do you think they'd look better like horizontal or vertical? Not sure, anyway. <laughs> this is the new unit with its soft closed drawers, hopefully. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, so it kind of matches my um, Pax wardrobes. As you can see, these are my Pax wardrobes and they've got the same knobs on. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with it actually. I actually can't wait to start filling this up and I think it'll make a really nice filming background. So very, very happy with that. <laughs> I've just moved them to go the other way and I think that does look better. Oh my God, I can't wait to like dress the top and stuff. <gasps> so nice. 